Hello, welcome to another video in the Sculpting Tips series. So this is the second video. And I was like thinking, you know, um, I was thinking for this video, I'm gonna try and sculpt a hand using the same kind of technique that I used in the last video. So if you don't know the techniques, I recommend watching the first video because I'm just going to jump through it. So to sculpt the hand, um, I'll just place a sphere and we'll just create the palm of the hand. So I'll just create a line to go like this. I'll create the thumb area, so I'll resize it around the thumb area. And then just kind of duplicate a few of these circles around until I get a nice palm of some kind. And then here I'll make the wrist by duplicating and kind of doing something like this. So that is pretty much the palm of the hand. And then to do the thumb, I just duplicate it like this and kind of uh, duplicate it out kind of like this. So that's the thumb. And then the fingers. Um, what I want to do is also go on the outside so this is like the inside of the palm and then on the outside I might create some of the knuckles so um, I think we have four knuckles for each finger so I'll just duplicate one knuckle here and then over to the other side duplicate it four times and kind of do something like this and then the knuckles, they kind of extend down to the wrist kind of area. Well, I'm just making some guesstimations. But um, yeah, we'll try and do something like that to kind of make it look less uh, circular or sphery, if those are even words. Um, then from here I'll just duplicate like this. So a finger is made up of three parts. So we have the bottom part of the finger like this. And then the next part, which is kind of like similar size. And then we have the tip of the finger that kind of goes out and then bends or something like that. So this is not going to be a realistic hand, but it is a tip on how to create a hand. Um, because I'm just improvising at the moment, but that's pretty much the same kind of technique in which I sculpted Gollum's hand um, in my Lord of the Rings Golem sculpt. Um, then here you can kind of bend the finger if you want to. So I'll bend it and kind of pose it at the same time. So it's entirely possible to do something like that. And then same thing here with the pinky. It's a bit smaller. And, um, yeah, it can look kind of funny, so we can kind of move the circles around a little bit if we need to adjust something. So this finger is a bit too long, so I can delete some stuff and um, kind of move it around a little bit or make adjustments and tweaks if I needed to. 
So yeah, that's basically some tips on how to make the hand. And then see how it has the, this sudden bump to it. What I try to do is duplicate some more so that it has a nice kind of unison to the overall shape. So I try to find um, opportunities to try to make it flow a little bit better. And sometimes it goes back to subtracting part of the hand away. So I can kind of subtract part of the hand and deform it so that the shapes are more appealing. So maybe this part of the hand can be a little bit smaller. I can deform it really slightly. And then I can grab some more parts of the hand and just um, emphasize some more detail if I wanted to. Like maybe some more wrinkles in the palm. Or this part needs to be a bit bigger so I can duplicate it bigger. And yeah, it's just like going back and forth and trying to um, add more to what you've made, I guess. And this is just like a quick improvisation of how like some techniques I would go through to like make a hand, but you know, if you spend a lot of time on it, you can get really nice detail. Like if you want to add veins to the hand from here, I might duplicate something really small and kind of go between the knuckles or something. And then you can kind of add the kind of vein detail to it. And I'll bend it a little bit. Add more when you need to. And then you can add like the super detail to like the hand. And then, you know, vein also goes up this way. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, you can achieve pretty high detail stuff using, like, just duplicating stuff. And then to create nails, what I do is use the cutout tool and make sure, like, the blend amount is down. So L1 square to edit the shape. And then what I can do is go section half like this and then kind of crop out some nails from the hand. So then I'll go up the top and kind of um, get the angle that I need. Try to crop out the nail that I want. And the same thing with the thumb. And also do the same thing with the thumb here. And then what I do is I kind of rotate it out a little bit so that the nail is kind of like sticking out like that. And um, yeah, and then select the nails, and then we can kind of change like the color or something, make it more shiny, 
or like make it red or something like that. So yeah, that's basically and double click, unselect the ground, group it, and now we can um, kind of move the hand around or something like that. Um, that's kind of like my tip on how to make a hand in Dreams. Um, of course, like if you apply these techniques a bit better, you'll get a better result but like this is made in like a few minutes like then you know i would go in maybe and add more like knuckle like the kind of you can go crazy and add fingerprints if you wanted to or go super detailed um, so an extra thing that I might do is I'll grab paint, surface snap, and then, you know, add hairs or something to the fingers. Because fingers have these little hairs to it. Um, yeah. But you can go absolutely, like, crazy if you want to, like, if you want to make something more realistic or something like that. But that's basically um, how I would go about making hands or, like, some tips on how to make hands. Um, so that's, like, an example of some of those techniques. Um, if I go back to my golem sculpt, I'll show you an example like on how those techniques were used better. Um, so if I go to golem, it's like the same techniques, but I spent way longer on it, spent more time, but it's basically the same kind of um, deal. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Like you can make hands, you can make feet, um, you can make ears, like just looking at those shapes. So you just need to look for those kind of shapes, like see. Y, C, V, and try to simplify how you would go about creating these angles and the lines of things. So for lips, it would be like different kinds of angles and lines. For nose, it would be different angles and lines. And same thing for eyes and stuff. So that was how to sculpt hands. Um, in the next video, I might do more body parts, um, different body parts or something. If you're interested, I might approach how to go about doing eyes or something, um, if you guys want. But uh, yeah, that's my tip on how to create hands using those techniques. Um, Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.